Welcome back on this tutorial on Luxin. Luxin is a library that allows you to manage dates in JavaScript and Node.js. So, so far we have seen date time as a class and uh, static functions such as now, local, UTC, from JS date. Now we are going to look at from release and from release, as the name suggests, takes milliseconds and converts it and uses that milliseconds to create a date in the date time format, right? So let's go to the editor and try it out. So let's take a JavaScript. Let's get let's get JavaScript date, right? Date that now allows us to get current date date at this particular moment in milliseconds so that's why i'm setting it as m m is equal to date dot now dot now specifically gets you in milliseconds right so let's print this out first and see what do we get and we get milliseconds current date in milliseconds right let's go ahead and create a date object by passing this milliseconds using plain javascript date function date function right and here we get the output that we get is a javascript date and it is getting us in UTC because javascript new date calling the class as in this format specifically creating an op, uh, instance of object instance of date class gives us in UTC and that is why we are getting the value in UTC now let's go and see the Luxin date time dot from the list the function the static function that we are looking at let's look at that how does this implement is implemented we take the m m is the milliseconds of the current date we pass it to date time dot from millis and let's run this and see what do we get here is what we get a date time object right and it has the value m okay we can see the milliseconds value is same as what we are getting in javascript and in the in the in the data year c is representing the giving us data about current year current month right the uh, value for month value for day hour minute we can see 1945 it says which is the current system time 1945 which means that this is giving me u this is not giving me utc this is giving me ist because my system time is set to ist and you can see 330 mil 330 minute uh, offset right which is for ist you can say system zone written here and zone right so we are basically getting um, date time by default gives a system time while new date gives us UTC, right? Similar to earlier functions that we saw, we can also pass in options to this function. Let's try that. Yeah, the options that you can pass in is zone and locale. Locale I've set to FR. This is optional, both are optional. Either one or both you can pass, or if you don't want to pass, you, you can ignore the entire thing. Say I want UTC zone, UTC uh, time in UTC, right? So I can set the zone to be UTC, right? And run it. Let's see. Here it is. I'm getting 1417 hours, right? 1400 hours, 17 minutes, 22 seconds, right? That is the current UTC time. You can see the offset is zero minutes. You can see a zone is fixed offset zone, right? But you'll if you see the milliseconds value, the timestamp value will be same for all. There's no change there. Just the representation of time is uh, in UTC format since I mentioned it here the zone to be UTC if I had kept it America New York it would have set the time current time uh, the time of considering the time uh, it would have considered ti the time to be New York and given the time accordingly right uh, that much of offset negative 4 
negative 240 minutes is what America New York is so that budget would have offset the time <clears throat> right so this is how from millis is to be used and if you have got milliseconds and you want to convert it into uh, lux in date time format you can use it from millis see you in the next video with many other uh, functions that we are going to look at and do hit subscribe see you there